Hey guys, Marcus Katkin from Blindside Football, back for another Daily Fantasy Update. A uh, couple of key injury notes that I wanted to go over today. First up in tonight's game, Teddy Bridgewater is inactive for this game. Uh, Christian Ponder is going to be your starter, so hopefully you went out and picked up the Packers defense because that is going to be an amazing defense tonight against a third-string Minnesota Vikings uh, quarterback, obviously with no Adrian Peterson already, so it's looking like an excellent matchup for the Packers defense. Next up, Carson Palmer and his shoulder injury. They're calling a shoulder injury now a 1 in 100,000 injury. Uh, typically, they see this injury in car crash injuries, um, so that's not sounding good for Carson Palmer. Uh, right now, there's no timetable for him. As long as Drew Stanton's the starter, I think this actually helps Larry Fitzgerald a little bit because Palmer was looking more towards Michael Floyd than Fitzgerald, whereas we're seeing a little bit of the opposite here with Drew Stanton. So if you're a Larry Fitzgerald owner, you kind of like this news. Uh, Michael Floyd owner, not so much. Next up, Jamal Charles was limited in practice today. I'm not worried about it. He looked great Monday night. You shouldn't worry about it either. Uh, next up, Arian Foster limited today with his hamstring injury. Now this one I'm a little concerned about because Foster's had problems with his hamstring before in the past, and next week's game is actually the Thursday night game, so he's not going to have much time in between Sunday and Thursday, so we may see him on kind of like a snap count um, in Sunday's game so that they don't overwork him in preparation for Thursday's game. So that's something to pay attention to, kind of back him down a little bit in your rankings, but obviously if you own Arian Foster, you're still starting him. Next up, Calvin Johnson misses practice today again. You know, this is getting a little bit more concerning because last week he was obviously a lot more of a decoy than we've seen from him in the past. You know, he missed a few uh, practices last week and then just wasn't himself out there on, on Sunday. But it's Calvin Johnson, kind of like Jamal Charles. If you have him, you're starting him. Um, you know, he, he's a number one wide receiver. And there's a bigger chance that he breaks out than being a decoy again like he was in week four. Next up, Brandon Marshall, full practice today. You're not worried about Brandon Marshall moving forward. Maybe a little bit on how reliant he's been on touchdowns this year, and hopefully he brings up those receiving yards. Uh, but injury-wise, nothing more to be concerned about there. And then finally, for deeper leagues, Rod Streeter has been put on the uh, short-term IR. So, you know, deeper leagues, you, you know, got to kind of worry, not worry about Streeter for a little bit. And maybe start looking at guys like Andre Holmes, who really broke out last week with Streeter out and with Denarius Moore out. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, so you get my daily fantasy updates, and follow me on Twitter, at Marcus Katkin.